Hi guys, I'm Oliver and welcome to OC Avery. Now today, uh, I saw a good opportunity to film a video for you guys, only a short video, on how to keep your birds cool when the temperatures are quite high. Now today, it is evening, it is eight o'clock in the evening, and uh, today we've had temperatures of about 28 to 30 degrees in the UK. The UK is currently experienced a heat wave, and this is obviously going to happen in the future. So how do I keep my birds cool? That's the focus of today's video, when the temperatures are high like it is today. Now something that mainly applies to when you've got birds in flight because generally bird rooms are always sort of shaded in some sense. Obviously I do have a clear roof for natural light as well as that. So the first thing is shade. Now shade is very important because obviously it allows the birds to get out of that, the direct sunlight, allowing them to cool off essentially. Uh, this is really useful. What I do in my flights is I use uh, either some wood and we just put a strip of wood over the top. Uh, generally try and cover at least half the flight so there's half a shaded area. So it does also reach the floor depending on the angle of the sun and that's really ideal that keeps the birds cool now there is always the option if you didn't want to do that there is the option of using for example uh, plastic i use plastic on my other flights and then you could use something else uh, like perhaps fake uh, sort of ivy like this in a very thick abundance and um, because you really you don't want any sunlight penetrating through that roof and um, which could actually make it too hot for the birds so the first thing is shade make sure the birds have access to shade so they can get out of the direct sunlight and helps cool them down. So secondly, this is when it comes mainly into the bird rooms, but obviously it applies to the flights as well, but generally a little bit less common uh, with flights and that's airflow. Airflow replacing the warm air that's in the shed and sort of sat with cool air from the outside and obviously if it is 30 degrees outside well it's probably going to be even hotter in your sheds so let's make sure we've got airflow so for this i always make sure my shed doors are open and that does mean that i will have uh, the, the security systems always like on and uh, available so we've got um, you know security corridors and they're all meshed out so there's all the airflow through but obviously it's secure from predators and of course thieves if uh, that is something that, that could be an issue. So that's the, the next thing is airflow. So always having the doors open. I do have extra vents down below. Uh, I am going to work on something for the window, but also just on that, as you can see in the background, we have an Expel air fan in this bird room. And what that allows us to do is just draw the air right through because we get a, 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 like a um, the air sort of drawn straight through and up to the top pulling the air in from this door and from the vent and moving it up that way, constantly replenishing the air with some cooler air to try and keep the temperature lower and more bearable for the birds in the bird room. So a technique I've recently adopted from some other people's ideas has been actually running a, fa a fan over some cold water. So what I do is get a bucket, put some ice in that, and that could be an ice pack or ice cubes face a fan down onto that and then turn the fan on and what that allows it to do is as the air passes over that ice and the icy water it's bringing the cool air up um, it, and, and you know the hot air is, is rising and it's just going to make a convection current and we're going to get some good air rotation and bring in that air temperature down and that's a good idea and um, from what i've seen a lot of guys do that and that really helps with bringing the temperature down on really hot days so i hope that's another useful tip for you guys to use so next something for directly onto the birds to keep them cool is actually misting them now misting them i've simply got a spray bottle like this this is a liter i put some cold water in that or you can just put some normal sort of room temperature water in that put it in the fridge keep them cool and we'll go around and we'll just miss the birds now make sure that when you do miss the birds you don't go directly close because obviously a high power of water the birds aren't going to appreciate but a, a misting from uh, a, a decent 
decent distance away is always going to be appreciated. It's going to help bring that temperature down, not only in the bird room, but also have it on the birds. And the birds are basically simulating almost getting a bath. As you might be able to see now, the red polecock has his wings open as he's seen this misting coming through to get the mist underneath his um well, you know underneath his wings so the next thing is misting the birds to help keep them cool if you can't do that then there are other options such as maybe a humidifier to release some colder uh, water in and just bring up the humidity but obviously as well as misting that does help the adult birds and cool them down but also brings up the humidity which is going to mean you're less likely to experience dead in shell when you've got high heat like this when you're breeding the birds so then onto baths. Baths are one of the best things to give your birds when the temperatures are high because without a bath the birds are really going to struggle to keep their uh, their body temperature around the same you know regulate it to the right temperature when it's hot like this so i always make sure that my birds always have access to baths and that's uh, generally i'll put a bath on in the morning and then i'll put baths on in an evening and i just want to make sure that all the birds have bath to bring their body temperature down and just help them regulate it a bit more so as you can see, we have a bath here. We have plenty of baths up here. The birds have all got a fresh bath this morning with some cold water. And then this evening, they've also got some, uh, or, or, you know, they've got a, a new fresh bath on there as well to keep them cool. And uh, for some of the pairs, like I know this pair for a fact, they haven't bathed yet, which is why the bath is still on for those guys to help them and to make sure that when they do bath, they've, you know, they've got access to that and they can bring the temperature down as the temperature does drop in the evening. Now, an obvious statement would be to say, make sure your birds have got water. Um, and obviously water like this could quite easily evaporate in the day when it's hot. So make sure your water is always replenished. I try and replenish that in the morning if the baths aren't going on for whatever reason um, and to make sure that they've got cool, fresh drinking water. But another way to do this to make sure that the birds are getting enough water in their diet and that they aren't going to suffer from dehydration is giving them high water content food and that is germinated seed for me. So I germinate the seed, I'm germinating that, I'm leaving it to soak overnight, uh, and then we're putting it in for them in the morning when it's soaked all up. The seed may have germinated by that point, uh, and it, if not in the air, it will quite readily germinate. I did this mix 24 hours ago, and it's gonna be perfect to serve up to the birds. High water content, the birds not only are going to fill their bellies full of food, but they're also going to fill it full of water and vitamins, which is perfect for in this hot weather to help the guys get through uh, you know, the, the high temperatures and uh, be a lot more comfortable. So guys, that's my six methods of keeping my birds cool in my bird rooms and my aviaries uh, when the temperature is hot like it has been today at 30 degrees. I know in some areas of the country and obviously other countries, you could be experiencing 35 to 40 degree weather. Um, it's, it's really hot for the birds. And at this point, this is sort of where I draw the line where I don't want to be getting birds going back down to nest when it's this hot because ultimately they're going to suffer. So I hope you found this useful and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash that like button, hit the subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.